Alright, in this last video, I'm going to show you how you can add tests for the routes that we've added to our application. Uh, and the snippets that I've added in this repository will really help with that. Um, first thing we're going to do is we need to add a file to the root of the project. And we need to call it karma.conf.js. And then in this file, I have a snippet we can type and it's karma conf and you just tab and then it's going to put in a bunch of configuration here and what this does is uh, this is an important part of it right and I think this actually has to get changed a little bit so um, yeah the files that are being loaded are actually uh, this um, yeah, it's angular.min.js and it's in testing, so. And then, then this is angular.min.js. And what this does is basically it's um, loading these files before the tests are run. Um, it's loading these files in order, rather. So we get this, um, the angular file, the angular UI router file. And I believe um, I think we need this file too. I don't know why that's not being included, but that's uh, an important part of this. So this should be also testing. And then this should be testing angular uh, mocks.js. Okay. And then it's going to load all of the um, yeah, this isn't going to quite work either. The way this is working is expecting it to be within the app folder. So, um, really, if we just take this away, then that should work. And then all of the fold, all of the files in the testing folder uh, will be loaded. Those will be specs. Those will be the ones we load last. And then this is saying we're not excluding any files and we're loading these plugins, the Karma Chrome Launcher, Karma Jasmine, and the Karma Spec Reporter. We're not using any preprocessors. And we could set auto wash true, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to run this once when you run the tests uh, with uh, Karma Start is the command. So this is all good now. Um, and then we're going to add a file to our uh, testing folder, we we'll call it routes.spec.js, and it's important that we name it this way um, because that name it's going to match this because it's it ends at .spec.js, so that's going to specify make sure that file is loaded um, when the test suite runs. So that's important, and then. Um, to do some tests, I have a snippet here. You can just go ng routes test, and then we get a nice describe block. And we can do um, describe the routes here. And then what we got here is um, this is basically bootstrapping. This, these are all the boilerplate things you need to test routes in Angular. Uh, so you're basically, you're injecting, um, using the injector function, you're injecting state so that you can use that within um, the test suite. And then, I um, believe this is, yeah, route test. So what I'm going to do, there's another snippet we're going to use to fill in the routes, but before we do that, I'm going to pull up the app.js file and put it side by side so we can just look at it uh, while we're going. And then I'm going to do command B to hide this guy. All right, and I'm going to do control backtick to hide the terminal there. Okay, so now we've got our test file, and these are our routes on the right. Okay, so let's test the movie route. We can do um, route test and tab to open it up. Um, okay, and then we're going to describe movie. And then, then we're going to put in the URL, which is movie. 
and then tab again we're going to put in um, views movie.html and then this is actually not calling it controller so we can just delete this and then that's good we got that test and now you can do um, route test again tab to open up this guy and then this is going to be movie.cast and you can tab again to go to the state URL and I'm going to tap in slash cast tab again to get to the um, the template URL and then we're going to put in views slash movie.cast.html it, oop, movie dash cast dot html and then again we're not using the controller so we can delete all of this and that's good okay and then the third one we can do route test tab and then we can do movie dot description and then we can tab to go to the url we're gonna slash description tab again to go to the template URL and then views movie-description.html great and then we're not using a controller on this guy either if we were it'd be really easy to just tab right to the right place and do that too and then one last route test movie.trailer scroll down here and then we're going to put in slash trailer for the URL and then views slash movie dash trailer dot html for the template URL and again we don't need the controller tests because we're not using controllers here great so now we have all of the tests we need for the routes we just wrote and that was really easy to add just like it was really easy to add the states um, snippets really help. So now how do we run this? Okay, so we've got all that in there and now we can open up a terminal with controlled backtick and if we're lucky all I have to do here is comma start and that should work. This is gonna boot up a Chrome browser and it's not liking that. So it's not, it's, we have an error in the config file here. Um, it's not liking that I didn't put it in an app folder. Okay, I'm going to try two things here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the config file. And I'm just going to remove that and have it be all the JS files in the JS folder. Um, this wouldn't work if we had an app folder and we had other stuff going on in there, which is probably the way we would do it. Um, I'm just going to do this real quick and see, because this is the quickest solution if it works. Still didn't like that. Unexpected string. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're missing a comma. I bet that was the problem. I'll put that back in there. And comma start. Now we should have a yep local server. And we'll boot up Chrome and then run our tests. And there they go. They all passed. So now what we've got is we have a, a working little test file for our routes. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, to this video and watching the tutorial series. I uh, hope you learned a little bit about how UI Router can be used to add some um, stateful routing to your application, really add some dynamic flair. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I'm looking forward to um, making more of these for you. Uh, let's commit our changes here that we made to the repository and then we can uh, call it a day. Adds tests. Alright. 
Um, you can check all of this out. I'll have as many links as I possibly can in the description along with a little key for the snippets so you can um, see what those are. And, and I'm hopefully going to do a video soon about actually making new snippets for um, Visual Studio Code so you can see how to do that more clearly. Alright, uh, thanks for listening and I hope you have a great day. Bye.